Hello everyone, Daniel from View Daily Life. Today I have a Lutron Caseta Wireless Smart Lighting Dimmer Switch Starter Kit. I'm going to go ahead and remove the old switch from the wall. I'm going to be installing a new smart lighting switch. I'm going to install the smart hub, connect it to the home network. We're going to program it. We're also going to be mounting a Pico remote to the wall using a Lutron Pico remote wall bracket and putting a cover plate on it. But first, if any of you guys are still looking for starter kits, I recommend going to DIYLutron.com where you can find all Caseta wireless products, whether it's the standard series, pro series, or there's a couple hidden products as well, mostly to do with Pico remotes, one of which I have with me today. This Pico is my favorite Pico. It's a pro series Pico that can control one group of lights. It can do three scenes and an off on that group of lights. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and start programming. So as you can see, there are three wires on the Caseta wireless smart lighting dimmer switch. There's a ground wire and two black wires. When we go to wire this, it does not matter which way we wire the black wires. Turn the power off. I'm turning it off at the GFI because I'm home alone and it really doesn't matter, but I recommend turning off the breaker so that nobody comes by and turns the GFI back on. So now we're going to proceed and start removing this old existing dump switch. So I know power is off, but just be really careful. We're gonna use an induction tester just to make sure that there's no power to the switch as well as any other circuits that may be in the switch box. So as I mentioned earlier, it does not matter which way you wire the Caseta wires. The two black wires can be wired either direction. I would highly advise that you ground the device just to be safe. And if your device has three screws, the, a black screw, a brass screw, and a silver screw, then go ahead and the black screw is gonna be your line in, the silver screw is your neutral, and the gold screw is gonna be your line out. So there's really not all that much to it. Uh, it's pretty easy to install. There are a couple tabs that you will have to break off if you have a device sitting next to it. So now that we got our Caseta Wireless Smart Lighting Dimmer Switch installed, let's go ahead and get the power back on, verify that works, and we'll move on to installing our Smart Bridge. We'll need to plug the smart hub into the router like so. So now let's plug the smart bridge into the wall and power it up. We should start to see this light spin as it does its firmware update, which tells us that it's connected to the internet. Next, you're going to need to go on your phone and check to make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network as the Smart Hub. Then you'll need to go over to the App Store and go and download the Lutron Caseta Wireless app. So that's it. This is the app we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up in contractor mode. You don't need to do that. I'm just doing this because I'm setting the system up for someone else. So plug in, bridge, main repeater. We already did this, so we can go ahead and move on to the next step. So next, it's gonna want us to hit the button on the back of the bridge. So we're gonna go over to the bridge, hit the button, and we should see it respond on the phone. Next, set time and location. So I'll be showing you how to program the Caseta smart switch. I'll also be showing you how to program the Pico remote 
this is the Pico remote we're gonna be putting in today. Oh, and by the way, these Pico remotes, the batteries are good for 10 years. They're just those little flat pancake batteries, the CR2032 battery. So we'll go ahead and get started programming the switch. So let's go over to the switch. We're gonna hold the bottom button for six seconds. So you see how the switch is starting to flash? We'll go back to the phone and now it's asking us what room we wanna add the switch to. Now it's asking us what load we're controlling. And now we can see our load in the main menu. We're going to say that we want to add another device and we want to add the Pico remote now. So same thing, hold the button for six seconds. And now we see the lights flashing. It's again asking us what room we want to add this device to. So we'll go ahead and just finish setting this up. Now we're all set up. So next, let's program the Pico remote. We're gonna go ahead and select the Pico remote, click edit on the bottom, and then it's gonna to wanna to know what devices we wanna control. So go ahead and select devices. And in this case, we wanna control the sconces. So we've got the sconces, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit save. So now that we've got our Pico remote programmed, let's go ahead and try her out. First, we'll turn her off. We'll turn all the lights on. Seems to be working. Now, the center button, it's a scene memory button. You program it by holding it for 10 seconds and it will memorize the scene so that in the future, you can bring it up to just that level. It's your favorite level. And if you have multiple devices, you can actually set a scene across multiple devices with the push of one button. So now that I've made a scene, let me push it and show you what I mean. So now let's set some time clocks. So we're gonna select add a schedule. We're gonna say every day we want to have the lights come on. We're gonna say at sunset, 15 minutes before, and then we're gonna make a name for this. So now it's gonna to wanna to know what devices we want to come on or off we are gonna say we want the sconces to be on at 75%. And now it's programming it right now. You can see it at the top. So since we have an on timer, let's go ahead and make an off timer. But let's do the off timer only for weekdays on this one. And then we'll make a separate one for weekends since we stay up a little later on the weekends. So what's kind of neat with this whole system is that you can actually set different timers at different levels. So for instance, you have your lights come on at sunset, at 10 o'clock they dim to 5%, they stay at 5% all night long, and then in the morning you can have a trigger to turn the lights off entirely. But what's nice about this is it helps prevent a trip and fall. It also gives you some security light. It saves power. There's a, a few benefits that I can think of. Maybe you guys have some other thoughts, but it's pretty neat that you can set these systems up this way. So now that we got our time clocks made, let's go ahead and select our time clocks and just verify that the load is acting correctly. And this is just verifying that you programmed it correctly and that the load is acting the way that you want it to. One thing cool about these Pico remotes is that they come with this tab on the back and it has a sticky adhesive that you can utilize, but this tab is actually removable and you can just stick it to the wall and remove the Pico still at free will. But also there are a couple holes in the tab that you can actually screw the tab to the wall as well if that's preferred. Now in our case, we're gonna use a Pico remote wall plate bracket. This is because we actually want to screw a cover plate around the Pico remote to make it look like a real switch on the wall. Once you pry the tab off on the plate, you can go ahead and just slip the Pico remote right onto its tab. 
and then all you're going to need to do is screw this up to the wall and then attach the cover plate to it. And that's it. Now we have our wireless remote added at the front door. We'll go ahead and try it out. We got on, we got off. Go ahead and try the memory button. Everything seems to be working. All right, well that about wraps it up. I sure hope you guys enjoyed how to install your Lutron Caseta wireless smart lighting dimmer switch starter kit. It's a pretty easy system to install. This is a pretty simple setup. Uh, if you enjoyed, I sure hope you guys will subscribe and please like the video. I would really appreciate that. And be sure to look out for other videos that I should be coming out with in the future to troubleshoot Caseta, to wire three ways, to help hunt down the correct products. Uh, keep an eye out and we'll see you next time.